Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are doing well and staying very safe. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you all about the 5 mistakes that you should avoid if you are a NEET aspirant or if you are going to start your NEET preparation. Also before that, I have created a playlist for your NEET preparation so make sure to check it out that too and if you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to share in the comments below and for now, let's get into this video. So the very first thing is prepare yourself mentally before starting the NEET preparation. What I have experienced in these two years is that NEET or any other competitive exam is more about mental toughness than anything else. If you are mentally prepared during the preparation, you will automatically find your way out whatever may the situation be. If you lose your desire in the midway, please ask the question to yourself, why do I even want to become a doctor? You will find your motive from there. Statistics are scary, too many candidates for a few seats selection rate is close to 1 in per 10,000 or maybe even worse. Great people for instance like Thomas Elva Edition once said, tomorrow is my exam but I ain't worried because a single sheet of paper cannot decide my future. But here in a country like ours, a single sheet of paper can and will decide your future. The test is designed to reject you. The examiners test you but you have to show your worth. You have to show them that you deserve that seat more than anybody else. Now the second thing is be your own motivation. This one common feeling must be there especially for droppers that you must be bored many times because studying same thing again and again really sucks. But have you ever thought if you can't do it then why did you make this decision? It's clear that these things will happen then why did you decide to waste your ear? Every now and then you must be talking to yourself and you have to make this clear that you will have to do this. Yes it is boring but the result just a little time after only the result will matter. Imagine if you kept crying at how bored you are feeling reading these books again and again then would you got the results that you want? Absolutely no. So be your own motivation, talk to your inner self and remind yourself every now and then that yeah I'm gonna make it and no matter what. Sometimes you only get one shot, you don't have to miss the chance to blow. Apart from this, daily make achievable goals, maintain a daily journal, write your daily targets before you sleep so that next day your orientation is perfect. If you achieve your targets, then you are on track. Also, download the apps which gives you feedback like Use app which gives you constant supply of MCQs and for that you can use this app called Memoneet. So basically, Memoneet app is a super useful for neat aspirants as it gives line by line NCRT MCQs. It's a perfect app to practice questions regularly. So in this app, you'll get 30,000 plus questions for all three PCB subjects. The revision algorithm is perfect for your revision. If you answer anything wrong here, the questions will move to temporary memory and when you answer it right, it will move again to short memory and then repeating short memory and lastly in the retrieving stored memory. So this is how Memonate helps you to remember whatever you learn. Apart from this, they also have this NPCM which is notes, podcast, crossword and memes. Now in this section, Firstly, you'll get each chapter notes which is going to save a lot of your time and to keep you ahead of the curve. Secondly, this podcast so it'll be very useful as if you want to revise anything you can start listening to this podcast before you sleep or anytime anywhere and this will deepen your understanding as well. Now if you love to play games this crossword section is perfect for you. This is the best and the most creative way to learn. This will also sharpen your skills and lastly these memes and of course course we all love watching memes and these memes will keep you motivated as well. So I think this section is of course going to be a game changer for you. Apart from all these, in NEET 2023, 100 questions from biology, 48 questions from chemistry and 45 questions from physics were asked from Memoneet and they have given the proofs. The link is in the description, you can check it out. And this happened because in Memoneet they haven't left even a single topic. Each and everything from NCRT is covered in this application. Also, you'll get video lectures in physics section and test series in which you can give chapter wise and topic wise full length tests. Plus, they also have assertion reasoning type questions, formula based questions and many more. So I would highly recommend you guys to try Memonite application and you can use my code to get 300 rupees discount and all the links and details are given below in the description. Make sure to check it out. So this way your 
your daily performance can be recorded and you will be less distracted now coming on third point which is no comparison and competition with others so make sure that you don't compare yourself with anyone else like somebody can finish a chapter in 4 hours while you might take an entire day for it don't lose hope in this world everybody is unique and born with some talent what might be someone's weakness might be your strength just give yourself the time and environment to analyze your strength and weaknesses then just utilize your strength and work hard to overcome your weaknesses for this if need to get away from social media don't think twice do it but it might be understood that uninstalling facebook whatsapp and instagram are not necessities these are your prospective decisions if you feel you are getting distracted and your concentration is getting hampered then do it otherwise don't i have seen people using facebook and whatsapp and still securing good marks in neat if you compare yourself with others or your progress with others then obviously it's going to be hurtful so stop comparing and looking on other people's and their test score that how much he or she got if you do this then you will end up to disturb your mind and you will not be able to focus on your studies and after some times all of this will create backlogs in your studies and then you start panicking about the syllabus and backlogs plus revision so instead of focusing on others and ended up hurting yourself and disturbing your mental peace start focusing on yourself because you are the only one who can make your life better don't look on others your target is you and your goals so focus on your studies tell your mind everything that this is my target and let's just focus focus on yourself and that's it and now the fourth point is a daily routine you should devote maximum amount of time for your preparation of neat in 11th standard itself as in 12th standard you will have to study for boards too you should do at least 5 to 6 hours of self study along with 3 to 4 hours of coaching or online coaching whatever you have every day if you are not attending any coaching then self study should be around 8 to 9 hours per day every sunday Sunday evening you should prepare a weekly timetable in which you must decide the list of new topics to be covered list of topics to be revised from your backlogs how much time would you spend for theory revision number of mcqs to be solved etc etc daily you should start study two subjects most importantly follow that timetable under any circumstances try at least 150 questions should be done pcb combined on every day take notes of the new topics covered in the week should be revised properly and revise all the notes monthly also you should study in a target based manner take up a chapter and keep giving its test till you score at least 90% in it once you score so move ahead with the next chapter and that's how one should proceed and now the last point is never give up frustration comes in when you think you're not worth it but that's wrong you are a great student who thought to give the exam again and not to give up like many do it's really this hard turning to not to be able to achieve your dreams since you have already taken a drop it's your choice whether to be lost in your failures or rise up as a warrior at the end it's definitely frustrating initially but you have to overcome your frustration in any case whenever you feel low just think about your dreams and then you won't need any motivational speech after this to continue with your studies if you get selected for need next year believe me your drop will not matter at all and you will Will come out as a more confident and a mature person. So take out those useless thoughts out of your mind. Otherwise, they will not let you study, and you'll waste your another year. So just focus. You know how to study and how to correct your mistakes. No one can teach you better than yourself. Consider yourself better than many and start studying. So with this, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to share in the comments below. And I'll. See you all on my next video till then bye bye and stay safe